sports would rather catch him his lamp at night with a beam. This is a high powered beam made by a company called Deepin. Good lamps. And one of the things we do, and I love to do, and the dogs love to do, is lamp rabbits at night. It's very high speed, it's very dangerous, but it's great, great fun. And go out at night, flick the lamp about, and you might catch an old rabbit or two. And this is young Fudge. Fudge is a lurcher. And anybody who doesn't know what a lurcher is, it's a cross between a greyhound and something else. It might be a collie, it might be a whippet. In that case, some people might call it a long dog. But it's a cross. Lurchers are very, very popular. You see a lot of lurchers all around here today. Well, looking, good order, well looked after. Fantastic looking dogs. And the reason people outcross them is for the brain. And different things. You might have bull terrier crosses that bore strength. Various different things. So young foot, foot here likes a bit of lamping. It's all very high speed, high action. So I'm going to show you how the old lamping game works. And as I said, you have to remember this could be dark at night. The best night for lamping is a wee bit of one bit of rain. But if we waited for one bit of rain, we wouldn't get out all the time. So we kind of have to go when we can. So you can see the dog looking about. Hang on, whoa, whoa, dot, dot, easy. Hang on, there, she spots one there. She spots for something moving. Oh, oh, no, just leave it, Don. Just leave it. Hang on. She's getting very, very excited. And as you can see, this is exactly how it works. So you can imagine I have that rabbit lit up in the lamp. I can have the rabbit lit up. Sometimes the rabbit sit. And that's when you get a very clever dog will walk the beam. Now then, sometimes when you see the rabbit sit, they give Floyd a little hiss. And I give her a hiss. Now the lure's going to take off. And there we go. So off you go, Floyd. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Up you go. Let's go. Just missed it, just missed it, just missed it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how the lamping thing works. That's it in a nutshell. There's not really much more I can show you. But it's very high speed, it's very dangerous. This is a traditional long net held on end pins or crooks. And this is the first device ever created to catch rabbits, made by the warreners. When rabbits come here at the start, they were, they were put into warrens by the Normans or by the Romans. And the reason they put them in the warrens was because they wanted to farm them. They let them out into the wild initially. They didn't survive. They were killed. They had by foxes and wild animals and all sorts of stuff. So they made warrens. Five foot high, dry stone walls, five foot deep, and the rabbits lived inside them. And inside these warrens were long mounds of soil. And that's what they were called mounds or pillow mounds. And the mounds were there to encourage the rabbits to dig. The rabbits dug into the mounds, and then these guys run the long net along and drove the rabbits in. It's very, very simple. But it worked for the warreners, created by the warreners, it was stolen by the poachers. And the reason the poachers loved these old nets was because they could sneak around the countryside at night and carry them inside their jacket. And then they were selling the rabbits so they could get more money for them because the rabbits weren't damaged. There's no good having a having something that's going to cost you money if you're an old poacher. You don't have to take the long net to vet, it doesn't need fed, doesn't make any noise, you can do it all by dark. So it works very, very well. So me and young Jade here is going to long net a few rabbits. Jade, if you want to come with me. Now this job's normally done by two people. A runner and a pegger. Now Jade's going to be the runner. But Jade, don't be nervous. There's no need to be nervous at all. I don't know, there's only about 5,000 people. So, this is held up, as I said, on end pins or crooks. It's kind of difficult. I hope everybody can see you okay. It's the old rabbit. So, Jade, if you want to come here, catch it by there. This is the crook. Now remember, it's dark. So walk backwards very, very carefully and just let the net slip off. There we go. To watch these ropes. And you can see the net running out. This is how easy this is. A lot of people, you go to some shows and read books and things, and people make a whole deal of long net. It's not a deal, it's an acquired knack. Very, very simple. And the hardest part of it is getting someone to do it. Just keep going. That's it. Wonderful job. I think you're telling me lies. I think you've done this before. That'll do if we stop there. Lovely. Thank you very, very much. So our net's running out. We'll just give it a wee bit of tension. And this is as easy. This is... This re just about made it, just about made it. So Jade, up to the net, let's go, let's go, let's go. So we've caught the rabbit. But that was the reason they used the dead dog, because it was quiet, and they dragged it along and touched every rabbit. And you have to remember, these guys wanted every single rabbit. If we zigzag through a field nowadays, there could be 20 rabbits here, there might only be 10 that go towards the net, because the rabbits here, you come and they'll lie down very, very flat. If you ever put a light rabbits at night, they'll lie down really flat, I guess, and put their ears out over the top of them. And sometimes if you're lapping them with a the dog, like we did earlier on, you can almost walk up right up on top of it. You know, it's fantastic. But anyway, Benjamin. we've caught the rabbit here. We have caught the rabbit. Now, what do we do? The rabbit's caught in the net. He might scream only because he's panicking. He's caught by unseen hands. So the straight away, the first thing we do is dispatch the rabbit. Very quick, very humane. Pull his neck. That's it, over and done. Now, how does the net catch the rabbit? Well, it catches it by the slack, the bag, or the kill. Now, this, 
diamond with the mesh in here. It's two, two and a quarter sideways or four and a half on, on, on the diamond. And that allows the rabbit to get his head straight through. One o'clock is the opening. And get caught in the net. And the more he kicks in the net, the more he gets caught. So don't get away. Now the best ever night that I ever had in a long net in my entire life was 72 rabbits in one go. It was a hundred yard quick set long net, which I'll show you in a minute. Jade, can you come this way, please? We're going to gather up these pegs. You've been fantastic, really. But it's not the end yet. We're not done. <laughs> You're looking very lost there. So we're going to gather up the pegs. But I caught, as I said, I caught 72 rabbits. Most definitely not. So this is the more humane method. And you'll see how, how, how well this works. This is the quick set method. You can these stop now, so I don't want to explain the whole thing to you. Very, very quickly. Jade's still here. Holding the fort. Give me a hand anyway, let's go. So folks, this is the modern quick set long net, put together by a man called Glenn Waters. And you can see how fast and how quickly and how easily this works. You think you're going to be able to do it? Uh, we'll see how fast you are. Right, up you go, go. Go, 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 go. Give it a round of applause ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going, keep it going. Go on to you. So as soon as you get that, I want you to come straight back to me again. Straight back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. He's going to like the Right? Drop that one down, away you go again. Go, 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 go. Only, only I think we should cheer on, ladies and gentlemen. Give her a bit of a cheer. She's doing very well. Okay, so bring that one straight back to me. Straight back to me. Off you go, off the other one. Go, 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 go. Yes. Now, how long did you keep that up for? Not very long. This is why we have a dog. This is why we have long this dog. Can I have the dog, please? This is young Fudge. Just let her go, just let her go. She'll come out. Come on, Fudge. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fudge. I think I've already introduced her. She's a four-year-old creature. Call her up a brain and she loves long nets. Now you can see, this is why we love the dog. Fudge, let's go. Up, up, up. Up you go. That's the care. Now she'll keep this up all day. All day. That's why when I'm catching rabbits, I can't be doing what Jade was doing. Because I'd be dead. There you go. Up you go. Girl. Up you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep it going. So when the rabbits pulled, the dog will work with a long net jump with that. Here, yes. Fudge, I hear some boys up there shouting around. Right, like, let's go. Can we do a countdown? Fudge and Jade, who's going to be the best long net dog? Shane's Castle 2014. Three, two, one. Off we go. Go on, Jade. Go on, Fudge. Ah, oh, Jade, I think you might have lost. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give, please give a round of applause to my assistant, Jade. Thank you very, very much.